Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMamoth.com and this is Matty, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're going to study some word problems. And my first problem is provided by Matty, so thank you Matty. Puzzle books that cost $18.90 normally are now discounted by three-tenths of their price. And Matty bought two. What's his total bill? Matty loves puzzles, you know. Okay. Think of the total price as being here, this much. This is the total price, the original price. And now we take off three-tenths of the price, okay? So what part of the price is left? What fraction of the price is left if we take away three-tenths of it? Well, seven-tenths of the price is left. So what we need to find is seven-tenths of $18.90, right? You can do this in several ways. You could find one-tenth of this price, which is easy because you just move the decimal point, okay, and you get $1.89, and then you multiply that by 7, okay, and that's it. Or another approach is to change this into a decimal, and of changes to multiplication, and now we have a multiplication problem, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply 18.90 by 0 0.7. Okay. And um, then we will get the discounted price. After that, Matthew bought two, so we need to double that to get his bill. So here, 7 times 0, 7 times 9 is 63, and then we have 56 plus 6 is 62, and then 13. And now the decimal point into the answer. There's one decimal digit here and two here, so three in the answer, okay? Notice also that when we're multiplying by decimals, we don't need to line up the decimal points. It's only necessary in addition and subtraction. Okay, so here's the price, $13.23. And since Matthew buys two, his bill will be 26 46 Okay, a can of beans weighs that much, 0 0.34 kilograms, and another weighs three-fourths as much. Find the total weight of the two cans. Now, there's a fraction here and a decimal here, but we could, if we wanted, we could change this into grams. You see, a kilogram is 1,000 grams. So we could change it to grams, and then maybe it will be easier to handle. Let me add a zero here, because then you will see that this is 340 thousandths of a kilogram. You see, a kilogram has 1,000 grams. So one gram is a thousandth of a kilogram. So if you have 340 thousandths of a kilogram, then it is 340 grams. Maybe it's easy to solve this way. And then another can weighs three-fourths as much. Now let me draw here a bar diagram. Let's say that the first can is here, and that the second can doesn't weigh nearly as much. It only weighs three-fourths three fourths as much, right? This is the can two. How much does it weigh? How do we calculate it? Okay, if I divide can one into, three, into four parts, okay, then this can two is three-fourths of it. And to calculate it, I will first find one-fourth, this here. I'll find how much is one-fourth of the can one and multiply that times three to get this one. Okay? So I'll take 340 grams divided by four to find one-fourth of its weight. Okay, here we have eight times four, 32, and then five. 85 grams. And then that times 3 to get these three blocks here. 15 and then 25. So can 2 is 255 grams. Find the weights together. You just add these two numbers then. And there's no carrying even, so it's going to be 595 grams. There. A computer program is discounted by one-fifth of its price. And now it cost that much, $37.60. What did it cost before? 
I'm going to draw this bar diagram here to help us with this one. Okay. And in it, you want to draw a bar for the total amount, usually. So let's see, this is the total amount. And, uh, okay, you have your total amount and it is discounted. And then we, uh, we know the price that is left. So this is the price originally, okay? This is what we don't know, the price originally. And it is discounted by one-fifth. So let me divide, divide this into five parts. And then this part of the price is taken out, right? And then what is left is four-fifths of the price, and we know how much that is. So how do I find the original price? As usual, these kind of problems, when you have the bar diagram, you start out by finding how much is this one block here. OK? One block, this one here, is exactly one-fourth of this price, right? OK? So I take this divided by 4 to find how much this is. And then I multiply that times 5. 37, 60 divided by 4. OK, we have 9 times 4 is 36, and then 16. So 4 and 0. And then that amount times 5 to 0, and then 20 and 47. OK, so the original price was $47. Lastly, Eric is 21 years older than his daughter Erika. Together, their ages add up to 49. In other words, the sum of their ages is 49. How old is Eric and how old is Erika? This is a typical problem where we, we know the sum of two things and we know the difference between those two things or two amounts, but we don't know the two amounts. There's two amounts and if you add them, you're given that. If you subtract them, you're also given that. Eric is 21 years older, so that means that if you subtract those two ages, you get 21. We know the difference, we know the sum. We don't know these actual two numbers. And I can again draw a bar diagram and solve it actually pretty quickly. This is a typical problem for Algebra 1 courses, but we don't need to use Algebra. We can use this diagram here. Now Eric and Erika. Okay, Erika is younger. Eric is here. And the difference, this is the difference in their ages, 21. He's 21 years older than her. And then the sum, both of these together, are 49. The general idea to solve this is that I will now subtract 21, take away 21, this here, from this diagram. If I take 21 away, then what will be the sum of these two? Well, you just take away 21 from this number to find it, find out. Okay, take away 21, so this number then will be 28, right? These two parts here have to, be, have to equal 28 together. And since they are equal, each one of them is 14. Okay, 14, 14. So Erika is 14 years. And then Eric is 14 plus 21, which is 35 years. And that much is if you add these, you get 49. Okay. So we all done. I hope this was helpful.